Yo, know y'all been hearing talk of Remy Martin, this motherfucking dude, Easy. Easy, the block captain and shit, a battle rapper and shit. And see, uh, speculators and shit brought this shit up several months back. Um, insinuated that Remy Ma was goddamn, you know what I'm saying, courting around with dude. And you know she's supposed to be having something to do with like her own rap league or some shit like that, like rap battle league or something. And who's to say if she took a liking into one of the MCs and shit? You get what I'm saying? But speculator says that, like, yo, her and um, Papoose and Dude was in the altercation before. You get what I'm saying? What well, Papoose and Dude was because of Remy Ma. Now, all right, if you know how Papoose carried himself, he carried himself as a distinguished gentleman. You get what I'm saying? He ain't with the messy shit or whatever the case may be, so... People are kind of like wondering and waiting to hear what he got to say. Okay. Dude, easy to block captain and shit. He got down. So he was subliminal when he was doing his battle rap. It sent your way to the point where he, he alluded to the fact like, yo, he did fuck around with her or whatever. If you peep rhymes and shit, his rhymes and shit. But at the end of the day, we are not in these people households to know what the fuck going on. Now, Remy Martin and Papoose and shit was the post of, of um, the black couple that people was pretty much basing their marriages and relationships all far as like, yo, I want a relationship like Pap and Remy. You get what I'm saying? So, a whole lot of people took a liking to Pap because it was told that he held her down doing her whole prison bid. You get what I'm saying now? We know several people. We know a whole lot of people who just as good as gold, yo, got a heart good as gold. But that shit don't mean shit to do when you're horny. You get what I'm saying? So all of that faithful shit, I feel like that shit goes out the window. All of that monogamous shit goes out the window when goddamn hormones come involved. So you as a man... Your chick gone for all these years? Come on now, man. So I'm not that man to say that shit, but I'm just using my smarts and shit. Like, come on now. So, okay, Remy Ma. Now, who's to say, okay, Remy Ma probably somewhat embarrassed because they had the whole world looking at them like, yo, they had the perfect relationship, right? So she don't want to come out. You get what I'm saying? Be like, yeah, me and Pat was going through some things. We kind of split up or whatever the case may be. I don't know what the fuck going on. Maybe somewhere down the line, if this shit is true or whatever the case is, you would think they would go to through some type of counseling, marriage counseling, before they just give up. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I look at that shit. Maybe they are separated and... Remy don't want to be putting this shit all out there in the spotlight or whatever the case may be. And there's several instances of shit, right, to the point where Remy Ma got to speak up for herself because she's getting caught with her hand in the cookie jar, if you get what I'm saying and shit. So, there's several instances and shit like, yo, she got to explain herself. Okay, why are you on a dinner with this motherfucker? Okay, why this, why that? And Papoose as a man and shit like that. And see, people use this a lot. Okay, I trust my mate. I trust... You get what I'm saying? So, trust ain't got to do... Ain't got shit to do with smarts. You get what I'm saying? A bitch know who the fuck she want to get that pussy to. And I done told y'all that shit a million times. I don't care what type of relationship she in to the point where the world look at her as... She in a happy relationship or whatever the case may be. She tell me and she in a happy relationship or whatever the case may be. But you best believe that bitch know who she want to get that goddamn box to. You get what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, Remy Ma been on some old shit lately. You know, the past few months and shit, like, on some old pillin' type shit, like, you know what I'm saying? It looks like she done got some little work done. You get what I'm saying? And Pat will probably won't feel in that shit because it's making it look like, yo, you trying to be like all these other Instagram models or something, are you? So who's to say what the fuck going on in that household? 
Who's to say if Pap won't goddamn cheat? You get what I'm saying? So everybody on the outside looking in can give their input. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> we don't know what the fuck goes on in that household. Is this smoking mirrors? Is this a decoy? Or whatever the case. But I have seen her with dude in several cases and shit. And they body herself just like her and Pat would be. So I'm thinking like, yo, you can you, you can use that as an excuse. Like, yo, he one of the goddamn my top rappers um, from my league and shit. Y'all know I started Okay, why you just with him then? Why you ain't with the other ones and shit out and, out and about in the cities and shit like that, eating and doing little shit like that? So then they said, do somewhat resemble Papoose. So motherfucker was on some shit like, yo, she probably said in her head, yeah, if I ever, you know, leave Pap or whatever the case may be, I'm going to get a dude to look just like him or some shit. You get what I'm saying? So people's kind of joking off of that, but. My reaction to that whole shit is like, yo, y'all keep sitting around this motherfucker trusting bitches all y'all motherfucking want to now. I'm telling you now. That's on y'all dumb asses. You know what I'm saying? And the same goes for the bitches and shit too. Keep trusting these goddamn niggas and shit like that because if a dude be around a big booty ass chick right now and he got a chance to flirt or try to get to know her or whatever the case may be, that motherfucker know he got a goddamn uh, woman at home or whatever. You think he gonna be thinking about that shit when this big fat ass in front of his goddamn face? So the same for a female. So at the end of the day, man, we do not, and Remy Ma be, remember Ma, Remy Ma looking good as fuck too, yo, nowadays. She won't never know an ugly chick is that, but it's like she more feminine with her shit now. She ain't on that, rah, 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 I'm a female rapper that can rap with shit like that. You get what I'm saying? So Then I've been saying goddamn Papoose with pictures with Lil' Kim and shit. So what the fuck is these motherfuckers trying to do? And at the end of the day, celebrities supposed to look for shit like this. TMZ, different motherfuckers gonna be in your goddamn business and shit. Cause you celebrities, fans want to know what the fuck going on. Motherfuckers gonna be hearing shit about Jay Z and Beyonce. The only thing y'all ever heard probably about Jay Z and Beyonce is Jay Z getting in the um, fight with Solange and shit. You get what I'm saying? Beyonce's sister. But other than that, who the fuck knows what the fuck goes on? And then if a dude put his foot down, be like, yo, you, you keep going to these trips, you keep taking business trips, you keep going this place and that place, who the fuck is you staying in these hotels with for? You get what I'm saying? You got to be around men. You get what I'm saying? You got assistance. You got security. So at the end of the day, that's on y'all dumb asses to trust these females and shit like that. I told y'all, give a fuck how happy a female is in a marriage or a relationship. That bitch get horny, that bitch know who the fuck she wanna get that box to. You get what I'm saying? So motherfucker might not be a hoe and all these nigga DMs and shit like that, but a woman know who she wanna get that goddamn box to, even though she in a goddamn marriage. You get what I'm saying, so at the end of the day, I'm telling y'all. The energy that she gives off is like, yo, she fuck with dude. You get what I'm saying? And there's no other type of energy other than that. And where has Pap been? You get what I'm saying? So, Pap is in that picture right here, right? With the red hat off to the corner. And I, ex I cropped him out of the picture for a reason. Because <laughs> he ain't saying shit. He ain't admitting shit. He say shit. You get what I'm saying? This is some goddamn household type shit. So this is shit that supposed to be handled offline and at home and shit. So, but that's the reason why I cropped them out because there's more about Remy Ma and Easy. This dude Easy to the left. You get what I'm saying? But y'all look at Remy Ma nowadays. I'm telling you, yo, she's sexy as fuck, yo. And she won't never know ugly chick, but you can tell how a chick step up her appeal and shit. You get what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, that's my um, reaction on that little shit that's um, surface on Remy and shit. Who's to say what the fuck been going on in that household? 
You get what I'm saying? And somewhere down the line, they knew it was going to come out eventually, so they won't quit to go out here in the public and be like, yo, me and Pamp got there split, or whatever the case may be. So at the end of the day, if Pat was all that good of a man and trying to build a marriage and you get what I'm saying, and this and that for family, then maybe if this shit true and not no decoy shit, then maybe it's marriage, some type of marriage counseling going on. You get what I'm saying? And how much is that, how much is it um, affecting when you still got to go around this dude in the little battle rap scene and shit like that? So at the end of the day, we don't know what the fuck going on. So it's been another one.